today on Judge Faith. A day of drinking ends in a fierce fight. She bit me, my fingers started bleeding, I started freaking out and the, they saw the blood and then eventually she probably came to like, she's bleeding and then it stopped. She had stuck her finger in my eye and it was blackening up here. You don't know exactly what happened because you were all very drunk. And later, she went to serve our country and thought he was paying their bills. While I was gone, I was still gonna continue to pay rent, but the utilities were not gonna fall under me. She asked me if she could only pay the rent. How do you expect someone to foot all the bills in the house without really giving them notice that that's going to happen? Faith Jenkins. Her distinguished legal career began when she graduated first in her law school class. She quickly became a tough New York City prosecutor and then a preeminent legal analyst on cable news. And now she's the judge in her own courtroom. Her cases are real and her rulings are final. She is Judge Faith. Plaintiff Aisha Robertson says her former friend got drunk and started a fight with her, causing serious injuries. She's suing for pain and suffering and medical bills. Defendant Laura Thompson admits they got very drunk and fought, but she says she doesn't owe any money because the injuries she caused were in self-defense. All rise, court is in session. The Honorable Judge Faith Jenkins presiding. Please be seated. Your Honor, the litigants have been sworn in. This is the case of Robertson versus Thompson. Thank you, Juan. Aisha Robertson? Yes. You are suing the defendant, Laura Thompson, mm -hmm. for $2,483 for medical bills and pain and suffering. You say expenses you are out of as a result of an assault she committed against you? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so let's start from the very beginning. Tell me what happened and how you know Ms. Thompson. Um, me and Ms. Thompson have known each other for six years now. Um, we met at adult nightclub smoking a cigarette and um, which she was venting about something and after that we kind of just hit it off. Became... Well, were the two of you working at the adult nightclub? Yes. Okay. We became really good friends <clears throat> for six years. Up until two years ago she needed a place to live that was cheaper for her, more accommodating and I talked to my manager and I went with her to the landlord and helped her get the apartment that she's in now. Okay, and so, Ms. Thompson, how would you describe your relationship prior to this incident that we're going to talk about today? How would you describe your relationship with, with Ms. Robertson? Well, we were really good friends. I basically took care of her for six years, so... Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? Helped her make money, um, helped her with her apartment, yes. And I How'd you help paid, her make money? I paid $3,500 to move into that apartment, so... Um, how did you help her make money? At the club, because it's easier for me to make money. What do you do at the club? Same thing as she does. I'm a, an, a, Which an entertainer. Which is what? Entertaining. Adult entertaining, yes. okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, and how dancer. are you helping her make money? Because I would take her with me and lie to customers and say that she was part Asian and, you know, and they would go, because they liked me, they would take her with them, with, well, with us. Why would you have to tell people she was part Asian? Why is that significant? Because the guys that like me usually only like Asians. So how did we get to this point today while you're in court? What happened? One evening. What date? This was June the 17th. Of what year? 2014. Okay, so that was almost a year ago. Almost a year ago, mm -hmm. yes. Um, we were drinking probably around, it was early, it was like around 1, 2 o'clock. We what drinking. were you drinking? We were drinking a bottle of vodka. Where were you at that time? We were at my apartment. She had a mutual friend come over. We were drinking, having a good time. Approximately what time does this incident take place? Six. 6 p.m. So you started drinking at 1 o'clock that day. Yes. Five hours later, 6 p.m., how many drinks would you say you had? Well, between the three of us, we basically finished the bottle. Finished what? what? It was a gallon bottle. You said the three of you shared a bottle of vodka. Who yeah. else was there? Um, we had a mutual, oh, she had a friend over. What's his name? I um, actually don't remember his name. What's the friend's name? Mike. Mike. So you are there, you, and Mike is there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You've been drinking since 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Yes, Approximately how many drinks had you had by 6 p.m.? Me? Yes. I don't know how many drinks we've had, to be honest. You don't remember? I don't remember how many drinks Two bottles. And how, two bottles of vodka? Because mm -hmm. we finished one before he came. Okay, and did Mike bring vodka mm -hmm. with him? He brought the So gallon. he brought more mm -hmm. vodka? Yes. And approximately how many drinks had you had at that point? Your Honor, I don't know. What kind of condition were you in? Were you... I was drunk. You were drunk. I was drunk. Were you very drunk? I wasn't very drunk. Really? No. <laughs> you say in your papers you were very drunk. Do I? 
Well, so, I, was, I was drunk, but I wasn't very drunk because, uh, I mean, what happened, don't to me, what happened to me, it sobered me up real quick. Coming up, more drunk drama. Something was said that made Ms. Thompson upset. What was said? That I don't remember. You don't remember that either. And later, he had a pay if he could policy. I said, I will try to help you pay. Right, and from that day to this day, that trying really hasn't worked out <laughs> Yeah, <for her>. when she... <laughs> Plaintiff Aisha Robertson says her former friend offered to pay for the injuries she caused during their fight. She's suing for pain and suffering and medical bills. Defendant Laura Thompson says she doesn't owe anything because the injuries were caused in self-defense. How many drinks did you have that day? A lot. We finished one bottle and he brought a gallon bottle and we finished that too. Okay. And we both can drink, so yes. She, she had blacked out because I asked her about it um, the next day. She, don't, she does not And remember. why was Mike coming over? Just to hang out with the two yeah, of you? to hang out, yeah. And this was at your house? Yes, ma'am. Correct? Okay. So around 6 p.m., what do you say happened? Um, we were drinking in my living room. Something was said that made Ms. Thompson upset. What was said? That I don't remember. I, something was said just because anytime Ms. Thompson drinks, she's had m many altercations and with everyone in our building she's either argued with or she's beat up plenty of her girlfriends boyfriends before in the past I have seen that's happened in front of my house as a barbecue she's beat up her girlfriend not once but twice we vowed that we'd never put hands on each other you know that's what kept us going for so long too because we would say we'd never cross that line and that line was crossed so prior to this day you never had any type of physical altercation with her is that true that's true okay so 6 p.m. this day, Mike is over. She says something to who? He was there for lap dances. Okay. Mm hmm And what happened? I don't know. Something was said that ticked Miss Thompson off. That just who made her. Who said something to her? I don't know. I don't know what was said, Your Honor. Something was said probably that just, you know, she was drinking, and every time she drinks, like she's not. Did you say something, or did Mike say something? I don't remember. You don't know who said it, you don't know what was said, but her reaction is what, according to you? Jealousy. Okay, like what her. did she say? What that did she I don't do? Remember. I don't remember. You don't remember that either? No, I don't remember what was said and, or who said it. And you say she reacted in a jealous manner, and, yes. and what happened? Because something was said, we started arguing, going back and forth. What was she saying to you? What were you saying to her? Just arguing, like probably just. You don't remember that either? No. no. <clears throat> Don't, to be what honest. happened next? I ended up leaving the apartment, going outside to my patio, and uh, the neighbor was washing her dishes with, right next door to me, and I was like, oh my gosh, can you get this girl away from me? And then here she comes and starts charging me, and then we start fighting on our balcony. She grabs my hair. I try to defend myself. I think I did hit her. Yeah, you stuck your finger in my eye. What do you say happened? <laughs> what do you say happened? What's your version of this? I don't remember. Just like she doesn't remember. The, later, I, she was crying, so I was like, whatever I did, I'm sorry, you know, because she was crying, so I'm like, let's go to the hospital. But were you injured? Well, yeah, my I, she had stuck her finger in my eye, and it was blackening up here. And how are you injured? I'm I bit injured. her finger when well, she stuck it in my eye. When you bit her we, finger? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she bit my finger. We're all on the floor. I have like abrasions. I have scars to show you. Did you call you. the police? No, I, mean, I did mm -hmm. not call the police. Six months later. So you never, you didn't call the police? No, because I was honestly hurt and I was, I couldn't believe what had happened. I was crying hysterically. The neighbors were over. Did you go to the hospital? We were both crying, yes. You were treated. What were your injuries? Um, I had a cut on top and Let back Let me see the photo of your, of your injuries. What is this a photo of? It's a scar that's right there in the middle of my index finger. You want to walk over and show me where the scar is? <laughs> right here. Okay, I do see there is something there. Mm -hmm. And there's another photo, Your Honor, um, on the back side of my hand that also has a scar, and that's keloid right there. Okay, did you submit any other photos of injuries? I did, of my Let's hair that was photo. pulled out. So what are you saying? She pulled some of your hair out? Yes, ma'am. The fight starts, how does it end? You say your neighbor came over? Yes, they were trying to help, trying to get her off my head. But then my, she bit me, my fingers started bleeding, I started freaking out, and the, they saw the blood, and then eventually she probably came to, like, she's bleeding, and then it stopped. Mm -hmm. And then I went inside, I'm bleeding everywhere, blood everywhere, the neighbor's helping me. She's outside at the other neighbor's house, and she comes back and is like, I'm sorry, let me in, we're just crying. I know you say you don't remember, but mm -hmm. you remember her sticking. Yes. 
her, her cat claw finger in, my eye. in your eye. Mm -hmm. And that's why I bit it. Yeah. Cause so you do remember biting her finger. Well, I mean, it was bit, and it, her finger was right here. So yeah, she said, "I yeah." You don't know how this all started. Mm -hmm. She's saying in, in her answer, self-defense, and you're saying mm -hmm. today you don't remember. In your claim, you wrote, "You don't know exactly what happened because you were all very drunk." Mm -hmm. I can't help you. You were drunk. Okay. You don't remember what happened. You didn't file a police report for six months, mm. and then you didn't file this lawsuit. You're here almost a year later. But the number one thing is, I can't trust your version. I don't trust her version either. I can't I believe I what either one of you are saying because remember. this happened after you had two bottles of vodka. I do remember. Judgment what in this case for the defendant. <laughs> Plaintiff Tia Bailey says her former roommate agreed to pay the utility bills while she was away at boot camp, but didn't. She's suing for unpaid utility bills. Defendant Malcolm Johnson says the bill was in Tia's name and he never agreed to pay it. Tia Bailey? Yes, ma'am. You are suing the defendant Malcolm Johnson for $406 for the cost of a utility bill you say he failed to pay? Yes, ma'am. In addition, you're also suing for your court costs? Yes, ma'am, that's correct. Okay, so why don't we start from the very beginning. Where are the two of you from? Um, Powder Springs, Georgia, just half an hour from Atlanta. So at one point, you and Mr. Johnson became roommates. Why don't you tell me how the two of you met and what happened? Okay, uh, we met in high school a few years before moving in together. We had a couple friends in common. I didn't really know him too well, but he seemed like an okay guy. Like, he seemed, he seemed cool, so I just kind of went with it. Mm -hmm. So when did you move in, month and year? Officially, like, uh, December of 2014. Okay, uh, what was the discussion? Whose idea was it? Uh, it was Malcolm's. He had this house that he, you know, wanted some roommates to help run him out with. Um, it was the house he grew up on. He grew up. I used to grow up on. Yeah, he used to. He used to live in there. Okay, so and you used to live in this house. Yes. Is this your? So this, this is, is your family home? Yes. My okay. Mom, and, and my mom owns the house. She owns the house. Yes. Okay. And so, had you been living there already? We moved. Um, I want to say, my sophomore year in high school, and. And after we moved, um, we moved a little bit, five, ten minutes down the road. She had some bad clients before. Your mother? She, yes, mm -hmm. my mom. And then um, after that, she decided, you know what, let's try. I know you want to move out, so here's a house that's opened up. So you decide to rent your mother's house. It was her idea. So you're going yes. to rent it, and you're going to get, how many bedrooms is it? Three bedrooms, I think you said? It's four. Four bedrooms, but you're going to get two roommates. Three, yes. Yes. Okay, and, and all three of you are going to split the rent yes. and pay how much in rent a piece? Three fifty for me since I had the uh, the big uh, the big room, mm -hmm. and three hundred for everybody else. Okay, but you approach her about moving into the house, and she says okay. I um I put it on Facebook. Oh, okay. I put it on Facebook, and she saw she saw my status, and she was interested. So the two of you had a discussion, and you move in December of two thousand fourteen, and do you sign a lease? Yes. Okay, who signs the lease? Three of you or just two? Three. So what happens? You end up moving out for a while. <laughs> yeah, uh, before I even moved in, I had told Malcolm that I was considering joining the military. So I went ahead and did that a few months after moving into the house. I ended up swearing in of March 2014, and I ended up leaving for boot camp of April. Okay, what branch of the military? I'm in the Navy, the Navy okay. Reserves. Nice. I, I left April 8th, uh, 2014, and I ended up staying uh, out of the state of Georgia for several months. I actually didn't return until late November. Mm -hmm. So I, I was gone for well over, you know, half a year. Okay, um, and what was the agreement while you were gone? Were you still paying rent? And who would pay the utilities, which is why you're here today? Okay, so the agreement before I left was that I would still continue to pay rent while I was gone because when I came back, I wanted to live there an additional year so that way I could start school and I wouldn't have to worry about finding a place to stay. Mm -hmm. While I was gone, I was still going to continue to pay rent, but the utilities were not going to fall under me because I wasn't there to, you know, I'm not there to use the water, to use the electricity, so it's not fair for me to pay these things. So who was going to pay all the utilities while you were gone? H it was, it was my understanding that Malcolm would pay it. Coming up on Judge Faith, the friends learn a life lesson. I did give him notice, like we did have a discussion before I left. My credit was dropping, so that makes me look irresponsible. Usually when she talks to me, she's always in a hurry or she's always trying to leave. So my question to you is, why aren't you paying your half of the bill at least? 
Plaintiff Tia Bailey says her former roommate agreed to pay the utility bills but didn't. She's suing for unpaid utility bills. Defendant Malcolm Johnson says he never agreed to pay. So you leave in April. Yes, ma'am. To go to boot camp. Where was your boot camp? It was in Great Lakes, Illinois. Okay, so you go to Illinois for boot camp, and you guys have been splitting the utilities up until this point? Yes, ma'am. Just paying half and half? Yes. And how much was the gas bill on average? What was the gas bill the month prior to that? I'm not sure. I'm you don't have say. any copies of the gas bill with you? Yeah, I have the last gas bill. The last ga gas okay, bill. Okay, how much was the last gas bill? The what last was gas from? bill, 405. For, that's for one month? Gas for one month? Yeah, when, it, when we got the, uh, the gas bill, we usually get it every two months. Okay. So, so that's, for, that's two months worth of gas in one bill? Uh, this is, the last bill it was four months. Okay, so it, it, approximately over four months, it, it was approximately $100. Yes. Did you know that she would be leaving for, how many months were you gone? Approximately eight months. Eight. Did you know she was gonna be leaving for eight months when you agreed to, for her to move in and sign this lease? Yes, but I don't know how long she was going to be leaving. You know how long she was going to be gone. And, and yes. was there a discussion about what would happen with the bills, not the rent? Was there a discussion about what she would talk, happen with the bills when she left to go to boot camp? She talked to me. Um, usually when she talks to me, she's always in a hurry or she's always trying to leave. Um, we hardly talk anytime. Um, we, anytime we're in the house, um, our schedule was always different. So. Was there a discussion? At any point before? Yes, but yes, there was a discussion. Okay, what was the discussion? Discussion, she, told, she asked me, if I could, um, if she could only pay the rent. While she was gone? When she was gone. Since she said, since she's gonna be gone and she's not gonna be using any of the, um, of the utilities, mm -hmm. she was asking me if uh, she can just pay the 300. Okay, prior to that, prior to her moving in, when you found out she might be leaving to go to boot camp, mm -hmm. was there a discussion about what would happen with the utilities if she left, or you just didn't think about it at that time? I didn't really think about it at that time. Okay. My concern is, and I know you say you left and he didn't pay this bill while you were gone. My concern is, if you two enter into this agreement, this lease, and you're gonna be there for a year, and then you're gone for eight months, how do you expect someone to foot all the bills in the house without really giving them notice that that's going to happen? It's not really fair, but I did give him notice. Like, we did have a discussion before I left of right, but then he doesn't have a choice, right? Because you're already in the house, you're living there, and you're saying, hey, I'm not gonna be here, would you mind paying this, this, this gas bill a every month? And he may have said, what was your answer to that? I, I pretty much said yes. Okay, and well, did you pay the bill? No. Why aren't you paying your half of the bill at least? I didn't pay my half because I didn't know how much it was. And but and you I, had I, the bill. I didn't know, no, I did not have the bill. Okay, but the bill I, is coming to your house. Yes. You just didn't open it? I got a notification on the door saying it was about to be cut off. Coming up, Judge Faith rules. And now, Judge Faith rules. So what's going on? This bill went into collections. What's happening? Have you paid it? I paid it, yes. As soon as I came back, I talked to Malcolm about it. He said, don't worry about it. I got it. I waited a couple more weeks, talked to him again. Nothing changed, so I went ahead and I went I paid the bill in full because my credit was dropping. So that makes me look irresponsible. I don't like that, so. I didn't say, don't worry about it, I got it. I said, I will try to help you pay right. off on it. That's yes. Right, and from that day to this day, that trying really hasn't worked out <laughs> Yeah, <her>. when she, <laughs> around the time that she pretty much left, I did get laid off. Uh, when she, when I got the last bill, the notification, I let her know. I told her the agreement was, um, you leave, I'll handle it. But when I need some money, send it this way. Okay, and, and the problem and is you didn't handle it at all, right? All right, so I think, we're, I think we're done here. In all fairness, you have to pay your portion of the bill, which is half. So I'm gonna order you to pay half of the utility bill, $203, in addition to your court costs. Okay, judge before the plaintiff. Good luck. <laughs> If you or someone you know has a dispute, don't take the law into your own hands. Let Judge Faith rule on it for you. To submit your case, go to judgefaith.com and tell us your story. See you in court.